Hi, and welcome to Engineering Essentials AutoCAD Instruction. In this episode, we will be taking a look at AutoCAD's user interface. AutoCAD is a drawing package. It allows you to draw both 2D and 3D objects. The commands used to create a 2D object are different from those used to create a 3D object. Therefore, AutoCAD has created two main workspaces one for creating 2D drawings, and one for creating 3D models. The drafting and annotation workspace is used to create 2D drawings. You can see that workspace up here. This is the quick access toolbar, and if you pull down, you can access different workspaces. So right now we're in the drafting and annotation workspace, which is the 2D workspace, but we can enter the 3D modeling workspace or the 3D basic workspace. So let's take a look at some of the commands that we use in the 2D workspace. So you can see we can draw lines, we can draw circles, we can draw arcs. All of these are two-dimensional elements. Well, let's switch over to the three-dimensional workspace. So now we get commands that are three-dimensional. We can make a box, we can make a sphere, we can do different things, uh, we can combine them. So these are all related to three-dimensional models. All right, so let's go back to the drafting and annotation workspace. The most frequently used way of accessing commands in any workspace is the ribbon. The ribbon is this uh, guy up here at the top. So you can see we have a home tab, an insert tab, annotate, parametric. So these are all uh, the ribbons in the drafting and annotation workspace. And each ribbon has panels. So in the home tab, we have a draw panel a modify panel, annotation panel, and so on. Each panel contains a group of similar commands. For example, the draw panel contains commands that allow you to draw different elements. So lines, circles, polylines, arcs. The modify panel allows you to modify geometry. So you can trim, you can copy, you can mirror, you can erase. Many of the panels have hidden commands. So you can see next to each of the panel names, there's a little arrow. And if you click down on the arrow, you can see these hidden commands. Once you let go, those hidden com commands disappear. If you want to keep those commands, you can pin them. So now when I go away from that panel, those commands don't disappear. And I can unpin the panel. There you go. You can also pull these panels out. And the hidden commands will... You can also access those through the arrows. All right, and you can send it back up into the panel, or up into the ribbon. So I mentioned there's many tabs in the ribbon, and that's because there are so many commands that there's no way to show all of them in just this one tab. So if we want to access different commands, we can click on the different tabs. So for example, the Home tab is where you have the most used commands, but you can go to the Annotation tab, which allows you to dimension your object, put in center lines, multi-leaders. Uh, you can go to the View tab, which allows you to view your object in different ways. It also has the Tool Palette uh, command, and different tabs has different uh, commands. So we'll go back to the Home tab. So you're probably just getting used to using AutoCAD and you don't know what each of these commands do. So AutoCAD has tool tips to help you. 
If you don't know what a command does, so for example, maybe this command right here, you have no idea what it is. It just looks like a couple of lines. What you do is you hover your mouse over it for a few seconds and you get a tooltip. So this is an offset command. Basically it takes an element and creates another element offset from that and it gives you a little description and a figure to go along with it. So we could do that for the line as well. So it tells you how to create the line that you can create uh, a couple lines connected together. So these are uh, what is called tool tips. So this is helps you to get familiar with the different commands that are available. Another way to access commands is through the command window or prompt. And that's down here at the bottom. This is where you can type commands. AutoCAD has made this very logical and easy to use. So for example, if you want to draw a line, you'll type in line. If you want to draw a circle, you'll type in circle and so on. Now I started using AutoCAD before there was any icons or clicks. Uh, everything was typed. So I spend a lot of time down here at the command prompt because I'm used to it. But you know, you use what's comfortable for you. You know, AutoCAD has made it easy and made a lot of different ways for you to access commands. This is just one of them. So let's try to draw a circle. All right, so I'm going to type circle. And you can see that it highlights different types of commands that have the word circle in it. And I'm going to hit enter. And then it asks you to do something. So it says specify the center point. And if you don't want to specify the center point, it gives you different options as well. You know, maybe I want to create a circle using three points or two points, or maybe I want to do a tangent tangent radius circle. So if you don't want to start a circle using the center point, you can use any one of these. You can either type 3P, let's say we want to do a three point circle, or you can just click on it. So I'll click on it. All right. Now it wants you to specify the first point of your circle. So I'll do that. Specify the second point. I'll do that. Now specify the third point. So AutoCAD's very good at giving you the information that you need to draw your element or perform whatever command that you're performing. You just have to read the command prompt. So even if I click a command up here in the ribbon, for example, a line, it's still going to ask me something down here in the command prompt. So specify your first point. All right, specify your next point and next point and so on. And then now if I'm done, it gives me, you know, a choice. Do I want to close it? Which means, you know, go back to the first point or do I want to undo? Well, let's close it. There's another neat little thing that uh, AutoCAD does is that it repeats the last command that you've entered when you hit the space bar. I'm just going to get out of the line command. There's another way to access commands and that's through the shortcut menu. If I right click anywhere on the screen, we can get a shortcut menu. Now this changes depending on what you have done. So I could repeat my line command. I could repeat inputs. So we did circle just now. Um, and so this is a way of accessing, you know, recent commands or commands that the program thinks you need at the moment. If you're not quite sure where a command is located, you can search for that command in the menu browser. So let's go ahead and click on the application button up here in the upper left. 
and let's search for let's say erase so it'll say okay well the be best match is erase and it's located in the ribbon tab home in the modify panel and then the command erase and then it'll also give you the little um, tool tip for erase so that's how you can locate different commands all right so let's talk about the tool palette so you can access the tool palette in the view ribbon we can click on the tool palette command and the tool palette contains commands basically um, it's organized by um, different disciplines so you could see mechanical here civil so if you're doing more um, you know specialized drawings this could be very useful So if you go down here at the bottom, it doesn't show all of the commands, but if you go down here at the bottom, you can see all of them that are available. And we'll go into the draw, and you can see the commands that you're a little familiar with here. So you can access those in the, the panel as well. I rarely use the panel for anything, but it is a way of accessing commands. So I'll go ahead and close that. All right, the status bar. So the status bar is this bar down here at the bottom. This is where you can turn on and off commands that uh, help you draw. So you can turn the grid on and off. You can turn snap on and off. You can turn your object snap on and off. So these are commands that you'll turn on and off a lot. And it also gives you your coordinate. So you can see I'm moving my cursor around and my coordinate changes. So that's where you can find that. Um, in some tutorials, we'll learn more about that. And then up at the top left, this is your quick access toolbar. And this holds commands that you're probably very familiar with. Your, your new, your open, your save, save as, uh, your print, all of those commands. All right, now that we've taken a look around AutoCAD's user interface, so you'd probably like to get started on a new drawing. So let's click on the new in the quick access toolbar and uh, start a new drawing. And you'll notice that um, create new drawing window will come up and uh, it'll take you through setting up your paper size, your units and all of that. So you can do the advanced setup or the quick setup either one of those. Let's go through the advanced setup. So it'll ask you your dimensions or your precision. Let's go through English, I guess. We want that to be 11 by eight and a half. All right, so now you're ready to just kind of play around and explore. The first tutorial will take you through starting up and setting some of your parameters um, and get you more in detail. So, but have fun and explore.